Will that reach them? Oh crap. Let's try it again. You know her? It's been a long time. Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I look like an idiot still holding the drinks I'd been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch. Let's get on with it. What's stop with the work seat today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Gah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a view. Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Hey, saw her on TV yesterday. Hmm. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. <laughs> what do you mean, conspiracy crap? What? Doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I'd really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Hello? Plumbers on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a drain surgeon here. There is one here! Freeze! Don't move! Remain calm, citizen! Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where? Is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not... Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Bomb the place to pieces! I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Oh, what's going on guys, it's Hornot 606 playing some uh, Freedom Fire single player, another classic game. Um, previously I did play the uh, multiplayer which was interesting and so I thought I'd play the single player again. Um, bear with me while I um, get used to the controls again. Sure thing buddy. So. Bear with me as I get used to the controls again. Hopefully these controls are, are a lot easier to get used to than uh, Time Splitters 2. I guess we climb up. Oh, fell back down again. If there was one game that I wish that I had a sequel or at least a hate or a HD remake it would be this one. Okay, now I've got to get used to the aiming again. See those soldiers down there. We are not as well supplied as the enemy, so we'll have to improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels rather yep, than... Yep, I worked that out before you did, buddy. Oh, what the hell was that? Medkits. Hold Z to bring up the inventory. Select the medkit. And then Good. done. You are ready for battle again. Oh, I guess that whole set me on yet. fire thing was part of this game's tutorial. That's nice. 
so this was a pretty cool game back in the day, and I guess it still is. Um, there aren't really, there isn't really another game like this that I can actually think of. I don't think there is or ever will be again. What's this guy doing? I uh, hurry up. This should help. No, that was close. Regroup. What's our step? Okay, come with me, guys. I've got supplies that'll get us out of this mess. So the one th one great feature I liked about this game is you could recruit people uh, and you know they would fight alongside you, and that was a feature that I guess most people really liked. Uh, I mean that was the one big feature. Where did they go up the stairs? That was the one big feature. Don't think that they got up the stairs, but I'm gonna go up the stairs anyway just to see what's there. That was the the whole recruiting thing was just the one big feature that I like. I liked health. I didn't go up the stairs, but. Interesting how many flight of stairs they let you go up. All the bombs are dropping and everything. Grab a Molotov, let's show the Reds. Grab a Molotov. So I guess this beginning of the game acts as a pretty decent babies. pretty decent inventory. Throw at who? Ah. Would that reach them? Oh crap. Let's try it again. Oh come on. That was a waste of time. Oh wait, I got one. I got one. Oh yeah, baby! Steve Reich and his Abort. Regroup. What the hell? Is he clipping through that thing? Or is his head just poking out? Oh, you can blow up cars as well. Watch for activity. I'm just pushing random bottoms to see what they do. How are you not dead yet? Okay, he's dead now. No time to waste. They'll be back if we don't hurry. Sure. Open this manhole with your wrench. We can escape to safety below in the sewer. Twenty-five charisma, so. The more charisma you get, the more people that you can recruit eventually. Um, as I was saying before, that was the one pretty decent feature about this game. Um, was the whole recruiting thing. Recruiting people pretty much on the battlefield, as it happened. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces. Welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship, and we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. A great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future.
This is our base. It's a safe zone. It's not much of a base. With complete control of the sewers. Now I've got some supplies over here. Not much. All of our maps will indicate the location of the sewer access. I'm assuming this is what the back cave looked like before Bruce Wayne took over. Oh, what's this over here? Nothing. Nothing around here at the moment. Can I climb these things? I can't jump over that. Anyway, let's look at the map as I was told to do. Let's go for the police station first. Secure the police station and liberate our leader Isabella. Raise your flag to signal her release. The police officers will assist you, but they need your help taking out the snipers on the nearby gas station. Sure thing, buddy. So we we'll try the police station first. One thing I did like about this game was you had multiple territories, and um, you could affect the other territory, making it easier for yourself, or you could just not make it easier for yourself and go the hard way. Uh, that's how I bent down. Uh, so where's the police officers? Try going over here. Can we climb up this? Nope. It would be a pretty decent climbing spot if we could, though. I can climb that, though. Okay. Okay, there's the police officers. Please help. We're pinned down here. Okay, so I got some C4, and um, this is one of the things I was talking about before, affecting the other territory, making the other side easier. So I'm going to go back to the other location, which was the post office. Now that I have my C4, another location. I pick the post, post office. Post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. 